annyeong neida bangasmida. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome, welcome. My name is Ray, and if you don't know who I am, that's okay. You can find out more about me here on all social media platforms. My skin type is oily, sensitive, dehydrated, and reactive. If hydrating your skin is something you're interested in, grab a snack and keep watching. If this is your first time on this channel, consider subscribing. We test and review Korean skincare products over here so that you don't have to waste your money on products that may not even work for you. I am not an esthetician or a dermatologist. Whatever I say in this video is my own opinion. Today we'll be diving into Tori Den's Diving Collection. See what I did there? No? Okay. Main ingredients in this collection or skincare range is of course hyaluronic acid. If you're not familiar with hyaluronic acid, you can check out my recent review of Cosrx's Hyaluronic Acid Serum in which I have a section dedicated to explaining what this ingredient is. For Tori Den's Dive-In Collection, they actually use eight types of high and low molecular hyaluronic acid to evenly distribute hydration to the different levels and layers of your skin. So that is it. The key ingredients of this Tori Den range is just hyaluronic acid. Thank you South Korean for sending me these products from Tori Den to try and review. Let's move on to the part of this video that you guys came here for, the actual review. First up we have a foam cleanser. This is a low pH cleanser which means that the pH level of this product is actually very close to the natural pH level of our skin. And what that means is that it's supposed to cause a minimal irritation. But I disagree. This was quite harsh on my skin. There is no stinging but I would get these red spots after cleansing. At first I thought it was something else but after a few more use I was pretty sure that the redness was caused by this cleansing foam. To be fair, my skin naturally does not like dense foam cleansers. And with this cleanser in particular, I'm guessing my skin was reacting poorly to the witch hazel extract in this. But it does contain panthenol and eight types of hyaluronic acid to deliver that deep hydration. If you have dehydrated or dry skin, definitely give this cleanser a try. But if you have sensitive skin, I will skip this one. The one thing I do like about this cleanser is that it is a very powerful cleanser that can remove very stubborn sunscreen, just like this one. This right here is Tori Den's best seller. It is a serum that is packed with varying size hyaluronic acid, but it also contains panthenol, metacasicide, ceramide, and beta-glucan. According to Tori Den, this serum is also pH balanced. This is a colorless serum that comes in a rigid plastic bottle with a pipette. In terms of texture, I loved it. It's slightly viscous, but it glides really smoothly on the skin. It's also super hydrating for my dehydrated and oily skin without those dry patches you sometimes get from hyaluronic acid serums. This serum is truly an all-star product, and I can see why it's Tori Den's best-selling product. The texture and ingredients in the serum make it the the perfect companion for dry and dehydrated skin types. For anyone who is looking to reduce fine lines on their skin, this serum is worth the try. The quality of Tori Den's hyaluronic acid really delivers results quickly. For anyone who is worried about the ingredients, Tori Den actually discloses on their website and also in the packaging that all ingredients in the serum are EWG verified green grade. The only downside to the serum, much like all the hyaluronic acid serums in the market right now is that it does create that sticky finish on your skin. But overall, it's a very solid serum that costs you about $25 for 50 milliliters. Moving on to Tori Den's all new soothing cream. This watery gel cream comes in a plastic tub, a total of 100 milliliters. But more importantly, it comes with a very thick spoon to scoop up the product. Thank you, Tori Den. You have no idea how frustrating it is sometimes when products that come in tubs don't come with spatulas or spoons because I really, really hate taking my fingers into the tub for the product. There's no added fragrance in this product so you can rest assured. And it has all the ingredients you need for a very hydrating water gel cream, jojoba seed oil, panthenol, and a whole lot of ceramide. It does contain vinyl dimethicone, which for some people it might be comedogenic. For me, I didn't notice any comedones after using this watery gel cream. I normally don't like vinyl dimethicone or just dimethicone in general, but this was formulated very, very well. This moisturizer has that water burst effect where it just 
turns into this watery layer over your skin. Keep in mind that a little goes a long way with this one. I like that this cream isn't thick or suffocating, but still strong enough to lock in hydration. For dry skin types though, they might want to add a face oil if they feel like this isn't occlusive enough. For me as an oily skin person, this is actually like the sweet spot, the perfect mark. But I can see why people with dry skin or even very, very dehydrated skin would want to add on a face oil after this. What I like most about this watery gel cream is that it actually sets with a very soft and non-sticky finish. The lightweight and watery texture is actually what got me loving this product. Finally, we have the Hori Den Mild Sun Cream. This is a sunblock with an SPF of 50 plus and PA4 pluses using physical UV filters. Oh, and don't worry, this has no added fragrance. It comes in a 60 milliliter tube that costs about $30. Not the most affordable sunscreen, but Style Korean always has sales going on, so don't worry. It does contain witch hazel, which I'm not a fan of. I especially don't like witch hazel in sunscreens. Because this is a sunscreen with a physical UV filter, it has a very dominant white cast. I have it on right now. The ring light is really bouncing the light off my face right now. I feel like I am two shades lighter than I normally am in this video. And I think that's really because of this white cast. When I review sunscreens, the most important factor for me is whether or not it will cause white cast. A product that causes white cast eliminates a large population of folks who could benefit from sun protection. I found the sunscreen to be slightly drying on the skin. I like that it has a matte finish, but the dryness is very dominant. Like most physical sunscreens, this one did not sting my eyes. Overall, it's a really effective sunscreen, but the major question is, will I buy another one after finishing this one? And the answer is a big, big no. From the heavy white cast to the price point to the dry feeling, I'm not a huge fan. I think it might be a perfect sunscreen for some people out there, but it's really not for me. That is all for this video. I hope this video helps clarify some of these products for you. And if your questions are not answered in this video, sound off in the comments below. I'll leave all these products links in the down bar below for you guys to check out in case you guys are interested. The links will be affiliated and would support this channel. So if you purchase these products or any products through my video links, it would really help this channel keep going. So thank you. And also, thank you South Korean for sending me these products from Tori Den to try and review. Kamsamida, <laughs> Sarangyo. <laughs> Please help the channel grow by subscribing and sharing this video with your friends, family, cousins, distant cousins, your relatives across the world. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, be safe, stay hydrated, and most importantly, what is it? That's right, be gentle with yourself. Annyeong! Come back for more to say